Good morning, Monroe Mustangs. Miss Maruka here wanting to say good morning to all my friends on this beautiful Monday in May morning. And to be exact, today is Monday, May 11th. So hello friends, good morning. So let's go ahead and sing the good morning song before we get started today. Here we go. Good morning, good morning. How are you? How are you? Very well, thank you. Very well, thank you. How about you? How about you? All right, friends, one time in Spanish. Here we go. Buenos dias, buenos dias. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Y usted, y usted. Good morning, my friends. I hope you are all well and having a lovely morning and had a beautiful weekend celebrating the mamas in your life. So make sure you tell your mamas happy Mother's Day. It's late because it was yesterday, but you can tell them happy Mother's Day from Miss Maruka Mom or Grandma or Auntie. A lot of moms <clears throat> come in a lot of different shapes and forms. So make sure you share your, your gratitude to all of those ladies who help take care of you, okay? Also today, my friends, we are switching things up. I don't know if you remember from my video on Friday, I told you we were going to start talking about something else this week. Because last week we talked about the life cycle of a butterfly. And how the butterfly in the Very Hungry Caterpillar... But he didn't start off as a butterfly, right? So we talked about those changes last week. And this week, friends, we are going to talk about plants. And so before we do that, I wanted to kind of take a little bit of break of such intense learning and just kind of warm our brains up to thinking about plants. But today, I wanted to talk more about the color green. So, because a lot of plants are green, and I have my Monroe shirt on today, my green. So today, friends, what I want you to do, and what we're going to do together right now, is look for things that are green in our homes, and then count how many items we find, and then put those items in our 10 frame to make sure that we count them right. And then, friends, I'll talk a little bit more about how we will be jumping into plants. Okay, so... <clears throat> the color green, my friends. I have written here the word green. I would have wrote it in front of you, but it's kind of tricky. So I wrote it before I started my video. But here's the word green. What do you notice about this word? What letter does it start with? Mm -hmm, the letter G. Green starts with the letter G. And then, so it's G-R-E-E-N, green. All those letters come together to make the word green. And then, underneath the word green, I have our handy dandy 10 frame. And then underneath that, I have a little sentence that we will fill in once we know the answer to it. So it says, we found blank things that are green. Hmm. So let's, let's count so we can answer this question. So I went around my house looking around for things that are green. I found my lovely Monroe shirt. So there's one thing that is green. I also found this green bowl that we use here for breakfast. I also was lucky enough to borrow a green trash truck from Leon. It even makes noise. Pretty cool. So, a green bowl, green trash truck. I also borrowed this little Shopkin from Now Lee. It's a little apple, and what color is there? She's green! Oh, and she even has a little worm coming out of her head. So, we put her here with all our green things. And then, I also have a green dinosaur. Dun, dun, dino stomp. So there's another green friend to join us. And then 
super big green friend. <gasps> Another dinosaur, but this dinosaur is special because where is he from? Do you recognize him? Do you know this dinosaur? Hmm. He's a special movie star. So he's my special movie star friend. So there's our other object we found that is green. And then, what is this, my friend? This is a plant. And what color is this plant? It's beautiful leaves are green, even all the way down to the roots are green. Wow. So there's our other friend that is green that we found in this Marika's house. So let's try and count our objects. Let's see if I can get you to see them. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and we can't forget my shirt. Seven, seven things in Miss Maruka's house that are green. Okay, so I'm going to put these fun friends over here so I can write on my handy dandy notebook. So we counted seven things. So we're going to make seven circles in our 10 frame. So here we go. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see, can you see that? Seven. Let's go ahead and count. Let me start at the right spot. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now in our little dash down here to answer our question of the day, we found seven things that are green. All right, friends, that's pretty good. So I'm wondering, friends, how many green things can you find in your house? And can you share all of those green items and send me your 10 frame and show me how many you made? I'm even wondering if some of you have enough green things to fill up two 10 frames. I wonder how many that would be. Hmm have to find that out friends so today my lovely people your job is to go around and find green maybe even go outside it's pretty green now I'm sure you could find some things outside you can also go around your house and just see what things you might find that are green it's always fun to go on a bit of a scavenger hunt is what I like to call these so your goal today is to find as many green things as you can, count them, and then share with me how many green things you have in your house. Okay, so counting and then writing the number are what really important today, my friends. So let's make sure we practice that so our brains keep growing. Oh, let's kiss those brains because they've been working hard. Okay, my friends, so tomorrow we will start talking more about plants and what they need to grow. And today I want you to remember to fill in your 10 frame and count things that are green. Okay, if you have any questions or need any help, you are always welcome to call me. Okay, your mommies and daddies and your families have my number. So please call me, friends, or send me an email. I would love to see your 10 frames and any work that you all are working on. I miss you all very much. I hope to see you soon. Stay safe, work hard, and be kind, my friends. And until tomorrow, have a wonderful day.